Hello. One of the most challenging questions for many IELTS and TOEFL candidates is books. Speaking about books, your favorite book, your favorite films. So this is why today we're going to learn a list of words which would be useful for speaking. Our first word is plot. Listen and repeat after me. Plot. Plot. Well, plot is the storyline of the film or of the book. Okay. But do you know what is the main character or the leading character or the hero of the film or of the book? Well, this is protagonist. Listen and repeat after me. Protagonist. Protagonist. Good. Protagonist as the main character or leading character or hero of the film or of the book. Lovely. Well, there are some films which are made based on the book. For instance, you can find the same book in the book stores. So this kind of films are called adaptation. Okay, listen and repeat after me, please. Adaptation. Adaptation. Very good. Gripping or engrossing means interesting. They're very good adjectives while describing the film or the book or the story. For instance, the film which I watched yesterday was really gripping, was engrossing. Okay. Um, many people like to watch or to read sad stories or sad films. And this kind of films are called poignant story or poignant films, which gives a sharp feeling of sadness. Okay? For instance, yesterday I watched a poignant Indian film. Okay, or sometimes it's called a touching film or poignant film. Okay, so poignant film means sad film. Poignant story means a sad story. Okay? Now listen and repeat after me this word. Poignant. 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 Good. Well, to embody an idea of something. To embody an idea of something means to be about something. For instance, this film embodies the history of the country. It means this film is about the history of the country. Embody. Now listen and repeat after me. Embody. Embody. Lovely. Good. Well, to leave a lasting impression. When you watch the film, you enjoy it. Or if the film is gripping, it means interesting. So that means that film leaves a lasting impression. And many people and most of us try to watch these kinds of films which really leave a lasting impression. You always think about it and you kind of live that film. Well, a touching memoir. A touching maze as a kind of interesting, gripping, and you can't forget it. A touching, so it touches you, it touches your heart. But memoir, memoir, listen and repeat after me, memoir, memoir. Memoir is biography, as a kind of written record 
of a famous person's life. Okay, a touching memoir means a kind of interesting story of a famous person's life. All right, good. Well, um, I do believe that if the book is gripping, you read cover to cover. So it means um, you don't skip any page of the book. So you read from the first cover to the last cover. Okay, it means just from the uh, front cover to the back cover of the book. So it is called, I mean, or we describe this kind of book like that. The book was so gripping that I read cover to cover. Okay, so listen and repeat after me to read cover to cover. Okay, to read cover to cover. It means from one cover to another. All right. To dip into. So that means you don't read the whole book, but you read just some pages in the book which really, uh, which are really interesting to you, but not the whole book, okay? So it's a little bit kind of uh, opposite to read cover to cover, okay? For instance, um, the book I bought yesterday was not interesting, and I could dip into some pages which I wanted to read. It means I didn't read the whole book, but only five or ten pages which I needed. All right? So, dip into. Blub. Blub. Our next word is blub. A blub means a short story of the film or a story of the book which is given on the back of the product. For instance, when you want to buy a book, you don't open it because you have no time. You just quickly turn the book and look at the back of the book because there is a short story. Okay, so this is called a uh, blurb. Okay, blurb is a short story which is written on the back of the book or of the film. Okay, so now listen and repeat after me. Blub. Blub. Good. All right. To browse. To browse means to read something quickly. Okay, just uh, go through the pages very, very quickly. You don't read this book. The, the, I mean, the, every single detail in the book. But you just, uh, you just browse it. You just browse the book pages, okay, for instance, or you look at the blurb of the book, I mean, on the back of the book, All right? So, to browse means to look through the book very quickly, okay? Now, listen and repeat after me. Browse, browse, okay? For instance, uh, yesterday, I went to the bookshop as I didn't have time I just browse the book and try to find a gripping story. Okay, I didn't read the whole book, but I quickly looked through the pages of the book. I browsed it. Okay, nice. I can't put it down. Well, I can't put it down means it's very interesting, very, very interesting. For instance, um, my friend bought a book for me, it's really gripping, and I can't put it down, okay? I can't put it down, right? Now, let's look at some example sentences another bought here. The poignant and gripping plot of the book left a lasting impression. It means the book was really gripping, but the story was poignant. It means the story was sad. However, 
this book or this story left a lasting impression. Next example, the story embodies love and family values. So that means um, the story gives information or the story is about family values or love to family, love to parents, love to children. Okay, so embody the story, embodies love and family values. Next example, Will Smith starred in the movie adaptation of the book which, which is called The Pursuit of Happiness. Have you watched this film? The Pursuit of Happiness? Okay, so if you haven't yet, I highly recommend you to find it on YouTube and watch it quickly. It is really gripping. The film is really engrossing. Okay, good. Our next sentence, example sentence is, he played the protagonist in the film. That means he was the main character, one of the main characters of the film. All right, protagonist. He played protagonist, protagonist. Well, and last example, before buying the book, I always browse the blurbs. Browse means look through quickly, very quickly, and blurb means the short story which is given on the back of the film or on the back of the book. So I always browse the blurbs before buying the film or the book. All right, guys, um, in order to improve your speaking, uh, have a good score on this topic in the real exam, you should learn this vocabulary and practice it on a regular basis. All the best.